Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Today we have another lesson, Mega Goal 6. But before we start the new lesson, let's have a recap for the previous lesson. We started the, the previous lesson by talking about what is the meaning of conversation. We've talked about the meaning of this uh, lesson by explaining the meaning of the word conversation. We said that any discussion between two people and more when they share their opinions, ideas about something, that is called conversation, okay? After that, we have listened to a conversation between two friends, Anna and Farah. They were discussing a problem that occurred with one of their friends and they were trying to solve that problem. When we read this conversation together, we, we listened to this conversation, we read this conversation together, we also answered some of the comprehension questions regarding this conversation. We also learned some expressions and some vocabulary from this conversation. We mainly focused on uh, the expressions or the phrases in blue, like split up, on again, off again, for good, behind her back. We also talked about words like uh, frustrated. We talked about words like uh, upset, rumor, okay? And we also, uh, or uh, one of the highlighted words is backstabber, and the last one is bad mouth. We also have here a word that is confrontation. We talked about the word confrontation, and we said it's when you face to face someone with a controversial issue that you are having or you are facing. Then we move to about conversation. In this part, we have three questions. These questions aim to test your knowledge, to test your understanding of what you have here. We have here three questions. The first one is, what news does Farah give Anna? Number two, why is Anna surprised at Stacy? Number three, what is Anna's response to Farah's suggestion? And we answered these questions together and the answers are as, show, uh, as you can see here in this slide. After that, we went to the real talk part. In the real talk, we started with talking about the word split up or the phrase split up. And we said that when two people stop being friends, that means they split up. They split up. Or when two people split up, that means they stopped their friendship. They are not friends anymore. On again, off again, when people are friends, then they stop their friendship, then they go back to their friendship. This is called on again, off again. When someone goes in a situation and then he or she changes that situation, then go back to the former uh, situation, that is called on again, off again. So it is described here or defined as something that is not stable, something doesn't remain on its uh, state, state uh, for long. After that, we have, let's say, the opposite phrase on again off again means something not stable or something doesn't uh, last for long we have the word for good which means something stays forever something stay forever or permanent behind someone's back is talking about someone without his knowledge talking about someone without his or her knowledge Back stabber, we talked about it, and we explained that it is one of the compound words. In English language, we have words, single words, and we have compound words. The compound words are words that are formed by putting two words together. Two words, each one of them have a meaning. We combine them together, so they give one meaning. Back stabber refers to the person who says bad things about another person behind his or her back. 
bad mouth, criticize or talk about people in bad manners. After we have learned these phrases, we move to the part where we express our own ideas or our own uh, intentions of telling a secret. If you want to tell somebody a secret, but you want to make sure that they will keep the secret, we have many expressions that we can use to make sure that this person is going to keep your secret. For example, you can say, can you keep a secret? Or, please don't tell anyone I told you this. Or, you will never believe what I heard. Or, you're not going to believe this. If someone tells you a secret and you want to calm them down, to tell them that you are going to keep this secret, the secret you can use one of the following expressions like I promise I won't tell anyone, I won't say a word about it, my lips are sealed, you can trust me on that. After that we have here this exercise where we practiced, where we learned how to put the previous phrases and expressions that we have learned in uh, contexts. We have here a box that has eight phrases or words and we successfully put each one of them in the suitable blank. Today we have on page 59 a listening lesson. But before we start listening to the material we have today, let's talk a little bit about the listening and how to enhance your listening skills. I will talk in general, then we will go to the specific parts. Firstly, to improve your listening skills, you have to expose yourself to listening to English materials. For example, you can watch news in English, you can listen to podcasts, you can watch YouTube, listen to anything or watch anything that is in English. Being exposed to English for a long time give you the ability to be able to understand, uh, raise your awareness of how words are said and how uh, or the meaning behind these words. This is the first advice. After that, let's go in specific and talk about the things that you can do if you have a listening class. Firstly, before listening to any material you have in the classroom or in the test, read the task you are asked to answer. For example, we have here a question, listen to a rumor as it is spread from student to student at a high school, then complete the chart. Okay, now we are going to listen to rumors, then we will complete a chart. So you have to start by reading the chart. The chart has three columns, questions here, rumor, and truth. So we will read the questions together. Number one, what were Matt and Jake doing? Number two, why did Ryan think they had gotten into serious trouble? Number three, what was their father doing at the scene of the accident? So you read the question, you know what you should do, you know what piece of information you are looking to, okay? This is, or sorry, you are looking for. This is the main thing or the most important part that you have to, you, you have to do before listening to any material before the exam or before doing the exercise. After that, pick up your pen, then listen carefully to each part in the recording. And you should put in your mind, you should organize in your mind the parts that you are going to answer. For example, if you have three questions, organize these questions on your mind so you can look up for the piece of information you are looking for for each one of these questions. This is, the, uh, this is an important point. 
Another point is that don't panic. If you don't understand every word in what you hear. Because the most important thing is that you understand the main idea of the recording. You don't have to understand everything in the lecture. You don't have to understand every word in the conversation. Just get the main idea. This is the most important thing. And look for the pieces of information you are looking for and try to write them down. Use the, your, your pencil to write down all the information you have. After listening for the first one, for the first time, do all these things and in the second time make sure that you get the completed the complete answers for each part or each question you have and after you finish listening to the recording go back organize your answers and put them in the suitable blanks now we have here a recording about some incident as you can see here it's regard, uh, or this incident regard one of the accidents. Listen to a rumor as it spread from a student to student at a high school, then complete the chart. The word rumor we have learned before is something or a news that come from a reliable source. So we have here two charts, rumor and truth. Okay, so we will listen firstly to the whole conversations, then after that we will go to each part or we will take them part by part. Okay, so now let's go ahead. We will listen together to the whole conversations. I want you to pick up your pen or pencil if you want, take some notes, then after that we will go to listen to each part of this or these conversations. Page 59. Five, listening. Listen to a rumor as it is spread from student to student at a high school. Then complete the chart. Mike, did you hear what happened with Matt and Jake yesterday? No, Ryan, what? They got into a lot of trouble. Apparently, they were driving their father's car and crashed into a delivery van that was parked near the school. Was anyone hurt? Yes. Matt hurt his arm, and Jake hit his head on the dashboard. I saw an ambulance that was on the way there, and two police cars with sirens on. Wow. So what do you think is going to happen? Someone said that they heard the police say that Matt and Jake were going to be hospitalized for at least a week, and their father is going to send them off to a boarding school to keep them out of trouble. Wow. Isn't that a bit harsh? Yeah. Don't tell anyone what I told you. I won't. Hey, Saeed. Did you hear the news about Matt and Jake? No. What's going on? Well, yesterday, Ryan saw them crash into a van. They were both badly injured. They had to be taken to the hospital in an ambulance. I can't believe it. I know Matt. He is a friend of mine. He is a good driver. What can I say? I'm just telling you the facts. That must be why I didn't see Matt after school yesterday. Hey, Matt, what are you doing here? I heard about all the trouble you got into yesterday. What are you talking about? I heard about Ryan seeing you and Jake crash into a van. He said you had been injured pretty badly and would have to spend a long time in the hospital. Don't you know that expression, don't believe everything you hear? Huh? But didn't all that happen? Yes, but it was all a hoax, set up by our father to scare us into being more careful. It was also filmed as part of a series on sensible driving for young drivers. The police were involved, too, to make it look more real. A hoax? Yes, Saeed, a hoax. Jake and I believed it for a while until we saw our dad standing nearby, filming and watching, along with the police and the paramedics. But I tell you, it did the trick. I will think twice before speeding or anything like that. Make-believe was enough to drive the message home for good. 
Okay, now we have listened to the whole conversations. I hope now that you have the answers for each part of them. It's okay if you don't have the answers, if you don't have the answers, because now we will go ahead and listen to each part. Now we will do the first one. What were Matt and Jake doing? We will listen and try to get the rumor. We will try to get the answer for the rumor. Now go ahead, pick up your pen, make sure to get the answer for the rumor. Page 59. Five, listening. Listen to a rumor as it is spread from student to student at a high school. Then complete the chart. Mike, did you hear what happened with Matt and Jake yesterday? No, Ryan, what? They got into a lot of trouble. Apparently, they were driving their father's car and crashed into a delivery van that was parked near the Okay, so we listened to the rumor, and the answer is they crashed their father's van into a delivery van. Now we will listen to the truth. Hey, Matt, what are you doing here? I heard about all the trouble you got into yesterday. What are you talking about? I heard about Ryan seeing you and Jake crash into a van. He said you had been injured pretty badly and would have to spend a long time in the hospital. Don't you know that expression, don't believe everything you hear? Huh? But didn't all that happen? Yes, but it was all a hoax, set up by our father to scare us into being more careful. So the answer is that it was a hoax set up by their father and the police. So what is the meaning of a hoax? What do you think is the meaning of a hoax? So the accident happened, but it wasn't a real accident. It was a hoax. A hoax means something that is not real. Something is make-believe, so it's not real. Now we will go to number two. Why did Ryan think they had gotten into serious trouble? We will listen to the rumor, then we will go after that to the truth. Was anyone hurt? Yes. Matt hurt his arm, and Jake hit his head on the dashboard. I saw an ambulance that was on the way there, and two police cars with sirens on. Wow. So what do you think is going to happen? Someone said that they heard the police say that Matt and Jake were going to be hospitalized for at least a week. So the rumor is that they were going to be hospitalized for at least a week. And the truth is... It was also filmed as part of a series on sensible driving for young drivers. The police were involved, too, to make it look more real. A hoax? Yes, Saeed, a hoax. The answer is, it was filmed as part of a series on sensible driving for young drivers. The last question is number three. What was their father doing at the scene of the accident? We have two parts, rumor and the truth. We will listen now to the rumor. And their father is going to send them off to a boarding school to keep them out of trouble. Wow, isn't that a bit harsh? Yeah, don't tell anyone what I told you. I won't. So the, the rumor is their father was going to send them to a boarding school. Well, the truth is... Jake and I believed it for a while until we saw our dad standing nearby, filming and watching along with the police and the paramedics. But I tell you, it did the trick. I will think twice before speeding or anything like that. So the answer is, it was a hoax set up by their father to scare them into being more careful. Now we have listened to this conversation regarding the accident, and we have learned how to distinguish between the two parts the, the rumors and the truth. We also learned some techniques regarding the listening, uh, uh, regarding the listening uh, exercises or exams, and we also learned how to enhance our listening skills in general. We said that it's better if we expose ourselves to English news or Engl any English materials because that will help us to 
understand the, the English language more and also it's better if we are going to a listening exam or if we have a listening exercise that we read start by reading the questions carefully understand what we should answer understand what is the task what was what are we going to do what are we going to answer in particular then after that listen carefully pick up our pencils take some notes then after that reorganize or rewrite our sketches or our uh, uh, drafts and move them into the suitable blanks. This is the last part of our lesson today. Thank you all for attending and I wish you enjoy the rest of the day. Assalamu alaikum.